Back on the road, I'm heading around 100 k's from Adelaide to the southwestern tip of the Fleury Peninsula to the sleepy fishing town of Cape Jervis. It's a beautiful coastal drive and as dust settles in, I arrive at the historical Cape Jervis station and cottages established in the 1840s as a working sheep station. Cape Jervis Station has a range of accommodation including self-contained apartments, cottages and cabins. It offers bed and breakfast and powered sites for vans. As owner Anthony Miles explains, the station is steeped in history. Anthony, it's a beautiful place you've got here. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of Cape Jervis Station? Um, originally, I, I gather it was taken up by a bloke called Gransford around the uh, 1830s through to sort of the 1840s, somewhere in there. Um, the, the original building is uh, the one my daughter lives in, and that was uh, built somewhere in about 1836. So, um, yeah, it's pretty uh, steeped in history because I think South Australia was settled in about 1835. So, so you're no longer run it as, as a sheep station, but as you can see in the background, Kangaroo Island is, uh, is just across Bass Strait, so it's a beautiful place to stop over if you want to catch the ferry across the Kangaroo Island and on your way back home? Yeah, yeah, no, the, uh, that's sort of what happens and, um, you know, we get quite a few coming down out of Adelaide and um, staying with us. It is just a beautiful environment, so to wake up and, and look at that every morning, it must be uh, something you're enjoying. Yeah, yeah, pretty tough. The, uh, we had to get a long way up a windmill to get a sea breeze in <laughs> Queensland. <so. laughs> 